Hello, Grumpy Old Fart here. Um, I'm having a lot of fun doing these uh, this, this family game night category of vid videos. Uh, I have tons of old eight, uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons and other gaming stories. My wife and son are tired of them, so I'm, almost, I'm, I'm telling them a lot on here. That way, they, they get out to more people because they're just they're 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 too funny not to to share. Uh, <clears throat> if you follow my other videos, you'll you'll understand. I've been playing since the 70s. I started running Dungeons and Dragons games as the Dungeon Master in 1980, and I've been running D and D ever since. And uh, one of the fun things about running a game, especially once they actually get down into the dungeon and their, their dungeon crawl, as it's called, and they're they're making their way through the underground temple or whatever the scenario is. You can, as a dungeon master, you can put them up against all kinds of different monsters. But sometimes you just like a good old-fashioned trap. You know, they 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 see the chest and they're gonna they're trying to pick the lock and the little needle comes out and stabs them with a poison, or you know they they step on the the wrong brick in a certain area of the cave, of, of of the of the of the tunnel, <clears throat> and you know the, the the ceiling caves in on them something anything. And traps are a wonderful way. To put characters on edge and it's it's brilliant to watch them try to work their way through to puzzle out how to get past this trap and there's hundreds of ways to do it one of my favorites you got the group of adventurers and they're stealthily making their way down the tunnel the the corridor or whatever in whatever scenario you're in and they come to this intersection or whatever and they look over and there's a cord hanging from the ceiling with a sign that says do not pull that's a magnet. I don't know why. I can't explain it. Is it some kind of a psychological effect? Somebody's going to pull that cord. It's not, you know, they, they just they can't resist. <clears throat> Especially if there's a sign that says "Do not pull." Uh, out of any group of players, at least one of them is going to pull that cord. Sometimes the group will bypass the cord and they'll head on down the tunnel, and then one of them will sneak back later because he's got to know. He's got to know. He's got to pull that cord. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the only good part about that is he comes back alone. He didn't kill the whole group, you know. Sometimes there's discussion. Sometimes the player character will just reach out and pull the cord before anybody can stop him. Something. There's always something. Somebody's going to pull that cord. Regardless of the circumstances, I've been playing this game a long time, and I've been running it for more than, for about 40 years, okay? I can count the number of times the cord wasn't pulled on one hand it's a virtual guarantee somebody's gonna pull that cord and it's never good it's never never good the 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 ceiling will collapse on them like I said or uh, a, a, a little uh, a, a, a brick will move and acid will pour out on them or or a blade will come around and smack them something there's always something you know <clears throat> a hidden door will open and a monster a big monster runs out with an axe and beats them you know some, there's always something. But it's never good. Okay? If you're, if, you're, if you're in a dungeon, I don't care who the dungeon master is, if you're in a dungeon and you're walking down the tunnel and you see a cord, and, and it's, not, it's not necessarily the cord either. It's, it's, the, it's, it's the not knowing, I think. Because it's, it works just as well if you're walking along and you see a, like, a, like a, 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 a little container with a, with a cloth over it. And you can't see what's inside the cloth. Somebody's going to lift it up and look in there. A little shrunken Medusa turns them to stone. You know, something. There's always something. <laughs> okay, it's the not knowing. If you're going along and you see the cord hanging there, and there's a sign that says "Do not pull," for God's sake, do not pull it. <laughs> just, just go. Just go past it and go. Your character will live longer, and you won't have to make up a new one. <laughs> you folks have a good night. God bless one and all.